Hi, I'm Iona, I'm 12, and today I'm here to find out a bit more about structural engineering from Roma Agrawal. You're a structural engineer, what does that actually mean? What do you do? So my job is basically to make sure that structures stand up. Okay. So we're standing on this bridge, for example, and a structural engineer has done some maths and some physics to make sure that this bridge is safe so that when you walk over it, it doesn't kind of collapse and send you straight into the Thames. So what made you want to become an engineer? So I always liked maths and science at school and one summer I actually had a work placement where I had this really boring job but all the people sitting around me were engineers and they were designing the equipment that the physicists used to detect particles like the Higgs oh, wow. boson which was incredible and I thought right this is what I want to do. So why are we on this bridge in particular? So this bridge is quite an interesting bridge so it was built in the year 2000 and it's called the Millennium Bridge but it also had a slightly funny nickname which was the Wobbly Bridge and the reason it got that nickname was because when it first opened and people started walking across it it started to wobble from side to side a little bit and what I've got to show you is a demonstration involving jelly babies <laughs> to explain how the different ways are that bridges can actually vibrate. So this is the infamous Jelly Baby Bridge and I can assure you that many Jelly Babies were harmed in the creation <laughs> of this structure. So the reason some bridges wobble is because of an effect called resonance. So what can happen, for example, is if you are a big band of soldiers walking down a bridge, you're all stepping and marching in step and what can happen is you start to resonate the bridge so that it starts swinging like this. Or you might, like on the Millennium Bridge, make it move side to side. And when that started happening, because the bridge was moving from side to side, people started stepping in exactly the same frequency as this bridge was moving. And then the third one is also when you get the wind blowing onto a bridge and you get it resonating in a different way like this, kind of twisting up and down. And like these effects are not very good for bridges because it basically makes them crack or move or makes you feel unsafe. So we have to, as engineers, make sure that these kind of things don't happen. So thank you so much for telling me all of this. I've definitely learned a lot about engineering and I will consider it in the future. That's fantastic, Iona. You're very, very welcome.